Hey guys, Glenn here, and I'm going to show you how I make a Bic lighter work when it's wet. Um, it's always a lot of talk about Bic lighters getting wet and not working, but uh, it's actually not that hard to, to make one work when it's wet. So, yeah, the Bic lighter, you know, the push button world. Get your, get your flame right like that. Um, so how does it work? Well, you got the little wheel on there, which has teeth on it, which go in one direction, so that's one thing to remember. It's like saw, um, so it's only going to spin in one direction and cut the flint. And the flint is actually a small ferrocerium rod. Um, if you've ever had one torn apart, it's probably about a half an inch long when it's new, and it's pushed up against a striker wheel by a small spring that looks like a spring from an ink pen. So that's how you get your spark, and uh, then there's an orifice or a little jet that the butane gas comes out of, and then that's controlled by a valve, which is a little hand button, a little finger button. So when the, when the butane starts to flow as a gas, it's, it's not real high pressure, so what it needs to do, it needs to mix with air so there's some little slots on the front of the chimney and that's where it draws in the air from the speed of the butane very similar to the torch it's the same thing as a torch on the torch down below the tip there's air holes here just above the orifice for the fuel so as the fuel speed is going through here it grabs the air and takes it off so that's one thing to remember about when it's wet because that orifice that's in there or the jet is very very small so getting the water out of that's no big deal the thing that you got to do is dry the flint and the striker wheel enough to produce a spark so I'll show you how to do that um, one thing about Bic lighters now if you're old like me <laughs> you've been around long enough to remember when a Bic lighter actually had a flame adjustment on it and this little metal cover up on the top of the striker wheel, the child proof, that wasn't there. So the trick that I'm going to show you is something that i doing 30 years ago. Um, I work outside, I'm a carpenter, so that means, you know, I've been out in the rain, the snow, whatever and eventually the the lighter ends up wet and I smoke so if you need to use your lighter you figure out how to make it work so before the little wheel was covered by that safety tab it was wide open which is what you have to do so the first thing that you're going to want to do if your lighter gets wet or packed with snow what have you just take your multi-tool or tip of your knife or something and get that little wheel off of here or that little cover it's a little child proof cover that little metal thing on the on the wheel there so I've already taken it off of this lighter and this lighter as you can see is in a glass of water so however you got wet doesn't matter <clears throat> But just shake off what you can of the water. Now you may be completely wet because you went in to drink and that's how your lighter got wet so I'll show you something else. But just blow it out. Maybe hit the gas a couple times because that will clear that orifice. Now the big problem is to get that striker wheel dry and get the flint dry because there's probably a little bit of water down in the tube that that travels in. Easiest way to do that with the valve towards you because that's the direction that that wheel wants to go. As you can see it's not lighting. Just take it on your pants. You're basically just striking that flint. Now you can try it, it's not going. But the trick to this is not to use your thumb, because your thumb 
You're only working off the side. See that black? That's that's because that striker wheel is still wet. Use your finger. Put your finger up on top of the wheel so you got more travel. And pull it down. And you'll get a little spark here. Still got a little bit of water in it. So we'll run it a couple more times. Might have run this one out of fuel. <laughs> oh, there it went. So all you gotta do, it's still got a little water in it because it's sparking up. But from a lighter that went in the water to that, didn't take long to get that to dry out to where you could use it. It's still easier to take your finger or more successful and run it the long way and just get right down on that valve get get the fuel going now one other trick you can do if the water was cold that you went in butane when it's cold as you know with a big lighter if the lighter's cold you're going to get a shorter flame and it's warmer day you're going to get a taller flame Butane needs to be warm to produce the gas, so all you got to do is put it between your hands, <clears throat> get a little friction going, make some heat, and it burns. So now you're thinking, okay, well, I just fell in a creek or whatever, and my jeans are wet, so I can't really dry out the wheel on my wet jeans can do the same thing just take a stick small diameter stick that will catch on the uh, finger grooves of the wheel and just run it on that run it till you dry it out now sure it's probably going to wear out the flint that's in there but if you have to have a fire and only one fire and this is your only chance don't worry about that flint just get your fire going so I hope that helps with uh, a wet lighter that's what's worked for me for years, so give it a try, see how it works. Thanks for watching.